Uh, good morning. Good morning, Sister Renee. Uh, I wanted to give you this. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> this um, word um, from God for you um, and encouraging you. Um, it's a, kind of a three part word, <coughs> a teaching also in it. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Something's in my throat. But um, um and this is something you can you can take the teaching out of this and actually help someone else um, in their life um, by this being given to you also. So let me start. Uh, first of all, um, everything has a purpose and every purpose has a thing know that everything was created for you for a specific purpose um <clears throat> excuse me and in everything that was created in its purpose there is an environment for that purpose there was an environment for the thing that it was created for i said this in one of my posts um i don't know when um one of my live postings but first of all, environments are key. Um, you weren't made for everywhere, but you were made for somewhere. And in that somewhere, in that place, in that environment you were made for, is where everything in you will thrive and come alive. I give the example of a fish, and I said this, I think I said this to you before also. Um, God wants you to be reinforced in this, if I did say this to you that when you take a fish out of water it's in an environment still but it's the wrong environment so it begins to, to die gasping for breath uh, it, everything in it that allows it to swim means nothing in the environment it's in outside of water <laughs> because its giftings were not made for outside of water. Wrong, wrong environment. But as soon as you get into the right environment, you know the environment because everything in you becomes alive. Those natural abilities, those things you couldn't do in other environments, <clears throat> when you get into the, into the right environment, excuse me, um, it, one, it, it feels like it's a part of you, you're a part of it. Two, Again, those dormant abilities, those things in you, um, as such as a fish in water, comes alive. And, of course, all that's in the fish um, begins to, to work at full capacity in the right environment, in that water. So, know that you'll know that right environment because of those... Uh, similar signs that'll follow your life. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So, number two, we go back to what I was saying. Everything that's, that that's been made was made for a purpose. I see it this way: everything God made, and every person that was made on purpose for purpose. Every person, every person who was made on person, I'm sorry, <laughs> on purpose, for pur purpose. Every purpose has an assignment attached to it. And every assignment has a problem it must fix on the earth attached to it. So you were designed for purpose with an assignment and to fix a problem here on the earth. <clears throat> In that problem that you fix, it creates an opportunity uh, for as you fix that problem for you to to be rewarded based off of the problem that you fix the Bible says that a, a labor is worthy of their hire when you go to a job they may not say it this way but you are hired to actually fix a specific problem that, that they have at that moment or at that company. <clears throat> if you're an electrician, a problem 
that comes up is an electrical problem, an electrical issue, um, or some electrical installation. Well, if I can't fix that problem, if I can't install the, the wiring and the housing and the electricity, then that's a problem. So I need to find somebody who is capable of fixing that problem. And in, the, in them doing that, there comes, again, the reward. Um, another word for re reward, it, it, it's, it, it, we'll, we'll call it honor. So every problem you fix, there's an opportunity for you to receive honor, and honor gives you access uh, to favor, and favor is someone using their ability, favor is, is uh, someone using their resources, favor is someone using uh, all that they have in order for you to prosper or give you kind of a uh, leg up or what we call preferential treatment because of what they have and, and what you did for them. Now, we go back to environment in that because favor is not everywhere. Favor is somewhere. As soon as you find the place of your assignment, you'll find that place of favor. As soon as you find the right environment, you'll find that assignment because your assignment is in that environment. So, I encourage you with that. We are people who seek God's hand instead of operating in God's principles. And that's a very lazy way to do things. Of course, like God is Santa Claus or like he's Lucky Charms, like he's magically delicious or something like that. Um, he's, he's God. And he, he instituted certain principles on this planet and certain wisdom keys to unlock doors. And, and I just believe wisdom is the key, um, as the Bible even calls it. Um, uh, so things that we need access to is based off wisdom that he gave to us in the word of God but doors are closed access to favor um, never comes about someone giving us preferential treatment based off of the principles that we follow never happens because we don't understand that the word of God um, gives us instructions and gives us wisdom into who we are into what we're called to do, into our assignment, into uh, the problems that we're called to fix, into uh, the favor that's afforded to us, into someone giving us preferential treatment because of all of that. Remember, Adam wasn't born just to be here. He was born and given a specific assignment, a, a specific purpose. It wasn't just to, to recreate or procreate, excuse me, <clears throat> but it was to have dominion and authority and rulership, replenishing the earth. It was, um, and you see his assignment being played out in the gar garden of, 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 of Eden, where he's, um, he's given charge over that area. And as of course he would main, remain faithful in that area, his sphere of influence and his sphere in that area, the area would actually grow um, and you see uh, his influence and his his uh, assignment grows because he goes from tilling the ground to now speaking over every animal that's on this planet and giving it a name and what we don't understand and a name is, is, is key a name is so important because a name gives that thing permission to be um and gives that permission, that thing permission to have a life. Uh, uh, so Adam, in essence, was actually giving every Adam, I mean, giving, giving every animal permission to be and was giving life to the animal based off of his authority God gave him on the earth because, remember, Adam had rulership 
and he had authority over everything in the earth, including the animals. So even the animals couldn't have full permission um, to be and live and have a life on this earth unless Adam gave it to them. It wasn't God's job, it was Adam's job. God just placed them here, and but it was Adam's job to give them life, to give them assi the assignment, um, to give them uh, placement, to give them uh, 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 um, access, uh, so to speak. Uh, so, in that, we go. We come to the principle that says you're, you're uh, faithful over little, you're a ruler over much. Now, so what I'm saying to you is, find the environment for your assignment. Your purpose will open up. Opportunity will be had for favor. And you'll see God do things for you based off of your obedience to him and the assignment um, that you're carrying out that he gave you. Um, everybody's called to something. Now, here's the third part. I think it's the third part. It's this. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was yesterday or day before you day before yesterday <clears throat> I saw you um, in the spirit and, and I saw a butterfly and when I saw the butterfly the butterfly was doing the butterfly was um, uh, flying and it wasn't so much the flight of the butterfly that God was showing me it was the beautiful colors and I just saw this white butterfly with all these beautiful colors and spots on it and it was you know just awesome and we know um, a butterfly goes through a metamorphic metamorphic state or metamorphic uh, um, process from caterpillar to cocoon the butterfly um, and I just believe that's what God was saying to me it's time for you to come out of your cocoon um, it's time for you to begin to spread your wings like the butterfly um, so I want to encourage you in that to do so. And then I saw an eagle. I saw an eagle flying. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I have a fascination for eagles. Um, and just the ability to, to, to fly. And, and they fly five, six miles above the earth. Um, and they allow the wind to carry them uh, to, the, to the next stratosphere, uh, the next environmental uh, level, so to speak. Um, I love the, that that's just, they fly so effortlessly that they allow the wind to just take them up and glide them. Um, it's awesome. If you ever study on eagles, uh, you'll see some very poignant things, um, even in your life. Uh, now, I have to pay my toll, so you're going to have to hold on. And I'm going to come back to this video. So hold on. What's going on, buddy?